your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to the men. Good morning, toasters. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Thanks for subscribing. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. That is the most important thing. It helps the algorithm and it's free. Hit the like button. Toasters. The other day I was out watching a few NFL games at an establishment. And in this establishment, you cannot smoke. So, you know, I like smoking my cigars. I'm off my break of smoking cigars. And I went outside to smoke a cigar. About five minutes into my my session, I see a brother come out and he's on the phone. And I see he keeps looking at me, but he's on the phone and he'll look at me and, you know, get back into his conversation. And so about 10 minutes later, I go back into the establishment and I run across a brother I have somewhat of a rapport with, you know, I don't even know his name at this point, but I have a rapport with him when we see each other out. And he's a cigar smoker. And he's like, hey, man, won't you go, won't you, uh, go ahead and step down here at the steps? We're playing spades. Won't you join us? So I step down the steps to join him. But before I can have a seat, the brother who was outside on the phone approaches me. He's like, man, I saw you smoking that cigar, that flathead 660. That's a nice cigar. He's like, I have my own brand. He's like, I wanted to approach you, but I saw you smoking that big boy. And I said, man, I'm going to leave him alone. Let him smoke his cigar. I said, man, you should have came over to me, man. Uh, I like cigar talk. And so he had some cigars on him. He broke them out, showed me his brand. And it's called Friends Cigar. This brother's name is Corey Sneed. He's doing big things. He already has his cigar <clears throat> in a couple of spots in Dallas already. Man, he just left the DR, Dominican Republic, um, to, to get some, um, some, some sticks rolled up and uh, help create the brand and build the brand even bigger. You know, that's where he gets his tobacco and his leaves. Show me some pictures out in the DR, man. Beautiful, beautiful time. And he's just doing big things. I told him what I was doing. He told me his history. Uh, he's, he comes from trucking, from the logistics side. You know, I come from IT. And uh, I got my own things going on with the cigar business uh, and the cigar industry also that I'll talk about later. But, yeah, I got some. I'm planting some seeds. And uh, that thing should really hit off around May. But we just got to chopping it up. And he was like, man, this is what, what it's all about. Breaking the chains of your mind and doing something different, doing what you're really passionate about and having no cap, creating no cap on what you can accomplish, how much you can earn, the impact you can have on society and people's lives. Just really living your life to the fullest. And I agree. That's definitely what it's about. And we got to talking about Kyrie, of course, and Kanye, and how these brothers are, are really breaking the chains uh, in their mind, and how a lot of people are, not just these brothers, a lot of people are, your neighbors are, your coworkers are, uh, your brothers and sisters and, and uh, kinfolk. A lot of people around the world, black, white, Hispanic, Mexican, Asian, you know, yellow, red. Several people are just breaking away. And there's a separation. There's division being caused. But this is a good separation. This is a good time to be divisive uh, because I think it's rooted in, in uh, being awake. There's an awakening happening. It's, it's rooted in being righteous and, and pushing forward to reaching your higher self. So I think it's a good time to be in the world right now, to be on the earth right now. It's a good time. And uh, we chopped it up, man, for about, you know, 15 to 20 minutes. And, you know, he and I are going to do some business. Uh, good brother so far, good brother. But he and I are going to do some business. But, man, when I got through talking to him, I just thought about LeVar Ball, you know, the father of uh, professional basketball players, the Ball Brothers. 
And I thought about how this brother started the ball brand and he wanted to create an empire. He wanted to create a conglomerate, his own brand, his own shoe. And this brother was criticized, ridiculed, dragged through the dirt, dragged through the media, and mostly by his own people. You know, it, it was uh, it was sickening, really sickening. His own people dragged him through the hot coals. They asked and questioned him on a, as to why would he want to start his own brand and not go with a bigger brand like Nike, Under Armour, or Adidas, or Reebok. And when he said he wanted his independence, he wanted something that he and his boys could own. They laughed at him. They mocked him. And I thought, wow, man, this is this is uh this is incredible. And maybe LeVar was somewhat ahead of his time. Now he's not the first brother, of course, to go independent and try to create his own brand or create his own brand successfully on a lower scale. He's not the first brother to do that. But in this time, being so high profile, uh, he calls, you know, a lot of attention. He created a lot of attention. And um, one of his boys being so good, it was automatically assumed that they would go to a big company. And one of his boys eventually did. You know, he's a grown man. He could do what he want. But I definitely supported LeVar, LeVar's ambitions, his thought process. And I thought, man, what if instead of his people laughing at him, mocking him, ridiculing him, what if these people in position, like Shannon Sharp, Stephen A., whoever, said, hey, man, I don't totally get it. I don't totally agree with it, but I respect it. And I'm going to put you with this person and connect you with this person. And hey, I wish the best for you. That never happened. To my knowledge, that never happened. LeVar had problems with his infrastructure. He had problems with logistics. And I guarantee you, there were people that had access to LeVar that could have reached out to that brother and connected him with other people that could have helped him with his brand. But it seems like people often want you to lose or they don't believe you can win. And actually it's just a reflection of how they see themselves. They're projecting out into the world or onto you on how they really see themselves. They don't see themselves being independent. They don't see themselves being multi-millionaires or billionaires. They don't see themselves leaving something to their, their children or creating a legacy of ownership. They don't see themselves doing that. So how can they see you ever doing that? It's like the scripture Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Man, in this world, you're going to have people attack you. You have the naysayers. You're going to have distractors, detractors. You're going to have all that. I hate using the word haters. I think it's overused and misused, but you're going to have haters. Man, you're going to have demonic spirits coming your way. You're going to have everything that's trying to knock you off your spot. You can't create bitterness in your heart. You can't harden your heart against these people, against these forces. You don't have to hang with them. You don't have to invite them in your home. I wouldn't. But you can love them from a distance and just say, hey, Father, please forgive them for they know not what they do. And I'm not being facetious. Most people do not know what they're doing. They don't know 
that they're actually killing themselves. They're actually attacking themselves. They don't even know, man, that you're their brother. You're their sister. You want the best for them. You win, they win. They don't even see it. And so, uh, yeah, they're doing harm to themselves. They don't even know it. So you just got to forgive them and keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Stay focused, toasters. Big things coming. Yeah, check out my homie's cigar. He's going to be my homie. Corey Sneed, Friends Cigar. Uh, it's in a few spots in Dallas. I got some things coming uh, in the cigar industry also. Uh, so look for that. Look out for that. But hey, stay focused. Keep your head on the swivel, but also keep your blinders on. All right, as always, from me to you, love. Peace.